Fourth of July, Fourth of July, Fourth of July, Fourth of July. No. <laughs> He's got no clue. But we're about to go and light out some boom booms, right? No. Yeah. Fourth of July, guys. I just got done working a nice nine hour shift at my new job. I'm loving it. Cool gig. Hopefully I made the right decision. Anyways, we're off to my buddy Jeff's house. He lives on a lake. He's got some toys. He's got some fireworks, barbecue, booze, all the good stuff, man. I can't wait. Last year we were there. We had a blast. Only thing that sucks is that Raina's not going to be able to join us this year because she has to work until almost midnight. It's 6 o'clock in the evening. Let's do this. So isn't this how 4th of July is supposed to be? Just on the lake with friends and family barbecuing. Little two-year-olds running around causing trouble. Everyone out just barbecuing and having a good time. What are you playing? Are you playing with your balls? Yeah. Yeah? No. You like playing with your balls? No. <laughs> are you ready to blow some stuff up? Yes. Yeah. Dude, we are so ready to blow some stuff up. Check that out. You guys see all those? Hey, 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 wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, hey, come here. Get, get your butt over here. No, you ain't blowing that up. All right, so we made it to the lake here, man. He's, uh, a little overly excited for some firework action. Go away, Daddy! Go away? Why? So you can blow the table up? Yeah? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, Kaden, what would you do if I pushed you in right now? Would you go swimming? No, nope, we'll go down. Huh, you wanna go in? Yep. Are you gonna drive the boat? Yep. Yeah? I don't think so. Yep. You already have your driver's license to drive the boat? Yep. Yeah? Whoa! Whoa, how about the ski You Wanna go on the jet skis? Yep. Yeah? Yeah? Oh! You can't have 4th of July without Roman candles. Whoa, Kaden! Whoa, they go across the water. Jeffrey getting crazy with it. We're starting out easy. You got the fountains going. Do you like those? Yeah. You like the fireworks? He's going to be a future pyromania. Come on. The cars are you like it? Whoa! See what I mean? And throw a match on the roof. <laughs> yeah, the pyro is setting up here. Yeah, we'll, some action here. We'll see how fast Jeff and I can run. Let me know when you're ready. Stick with it in the, the back of his pants there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so cute back together. To back to back to back, right? They are cute together. Oh, this is going to be loud. Oh, no. Uh oh, they're going one after another. Oh, oh. If you can't see, come down to the beach. <laughs>
we had last night. Now we're out here in Sandpoint, Idaho at the city beach where I grew up and I'm showing little man what's up, how it's done out here, huh? <laughs> Can you wave? Hi! Hi! This is kind of cool taking a little man here because this is where I spent many of my younger years growing up. And I'll just share the experience with little dude. And he is just all about it. So the one weird thing about being out here at City Beach is that back in the day, this town is so small that you would know everyone down here at the beach. You would know their brothers, sisters, parents. If I spit on the ground, my parents would know in five minutes. That's how small this town is. And now through the years, you know, it's just like, I thought I'd come down here and I'd see some familiar faces. I don't know anyone down here. But it's cool to see little man's happy face in exchange. So he's out here having a blast. One, two, three, go, let's go. Let's go, go. Well, he's going way out there. <laughs> is it cold? Hey dude, is it cold? <laughs> go. He's having so much fun out here. Yeah. This is a trip for me. I have not stepped foot on this ground daddy, right here daddy, in probably daddy, daddy. 19 years. Daddy, daddy. What? I am back at my high school. Right Can you believe it? Right Sandpoint High daddy, School. Daddy, 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 what? What? Airplane. Airplane. An airplane? Yeah. Okay, I see the airplane. <laughs> but this is a trip just being back here, you know, after 19 years. I've driven by this place, you know, when I come to visit my folks and everything, but I've yet to pull in a park and just sit here and reminisce about the good old days of my three years that I spent here. We moved up here um, my sophomore year, so that's sophomore, junior, senior, all that good stuff. But man, memories. Where are my standpoint people at? This is too much of a trip just walking around here. Memories just coming through my head, man. I used to come out here every day. We'd have to run a mile for, for uh for gym class, and then we come out here for football, and we have to run another mile. Man, a lot of memories out here on this field. Caden, you gonna show him how to run? Go show him how to run. Show him how it's done. And he's off. That's our future track star. Another trip of being right back here is this uh, right behind us. This is the field house. This was built in memory of. Uh, a fallen student. See, we moved out here in 1992, and well, that winter, uh, we were all up at Schweitzer Mountain snowboarding and whatnot, and this cat, Tucker Taylor, was out there with his friends, and uh, we weren't actually uh, snowboarding or anything with them, but there was all this chaos going on, and a helicopter came, and everyone was back at the lodge saying that someone had fallen into a tree well up on the hill. Well, come to find out, it was our fellow football player, Tucker Taylor, and uh, him and his buddies were skiing in, in, in between the trees and everything and he hit a tree and fell into a, a, the tree well or whatever and uh, passed away man. It was, it was a crazy event out up at Schweitzer Mountain and uh, I was just getting to know the guy man. He was a cool cat, one of our fellow football players, whatever, and uh, they built this field house for him. Very cool man. But I'll never forget that day up at Schweitzer Mountain man. It was, it was something else There man. she is. Everyone's wondering this whole vlog where the hell is Raina? Raina works now. A lot. But you're pregnant! Like that matters. You should be at home, soaking your feet and cooking us dinner. Yeah, <laughs> Do you have a good 4th of July? No, I didn't have a good 4th of July. Did you miss this? Because this is the guy up here. You, you, you seriously missed that? Of course I missed that! All up in my crotch. Oh. Hey, Kaden, where's the baby? Kaden, where's the baby? In the tummy? Yeah? Ow! Well, are you trying to go back up in there? Let's not! What the heck? <laughs> Anyways, here's your guys' two minutes of Raina in the vlog since she never uh, comes around anymore. People are trying to think that we're divorced or broken up or whatever. We're not divorced. We're not even married to have a divorce. Don't make that face. <laughs> but the viewers good. miss you. You guys need to tell. You guys need to tell Raina. Voice your opinion that you guys want to see more of Raina in these vlogs. Raina hates being on camera in general. What are you talking about? I'm You're not part of a vlogging family. 
I'm going to destroy your child. He humps your leg like if Remy does. If he takes my knee out, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> kill me? Why? Because it's your fault. How is that my because fault? Because you hang on me all the time, so he thinks it's okay to hang on me. Just like he thinks it's okay to grab my boobs. I don't hump your leg. And my butt. Do I hump your leg? No. What? I know you are not saying that. What? You do it all the time. I do not hump your leg. Yes, you do. What are you talking about? I will vlog one of these days and have you. We're just going to come up and you ram me and start humping my leg. He likes that he has a monster on his butt, though. You're crazy. Hi, dude. Are you go shopping? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I thought you didn't want to go to mommy job. He was all, like, adamant about not going to mommy job. And then as soon as I said, well, we're going, he's like, cookie? Here's the thing. You guys are more than likely going to be seeing a lot more of Raina because of my schedule now. Because of my schedule, I get off early and I don't have to work until 3.30 or whatever in the morning. So now we get to sit back and have dinner together and be like one big happy family. I have a pimple on my nose that hurts really You are so weird. Like when we're talking about something, no, you were not, just... No, I'm not because I started to like twitch my nose and it hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Stop staring at my boobs. Hey, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're wrapping this up. It's been a fun weekend. I get to go back to work on Monday. It's nice having a Saturday and Sunday off. It's been lovely. You get to have the weekends But off. I missed I my baby. Mm. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're out of here. Until our next vlog, word to your monkey. <laughs> <laughs>